Thank you guys so much for joining us today. We have the incredible Sonequa Martin-Green from Space Jam, A New Legacy here with us today. And we're gonna have a candid conversation about our parenting wins and fails. Um, we're gonna play the Toon Squad versus Goon Squad Parenting Edition. Um, we're gonna do it a little differently. We're gonna have Sonequa share with us her parenting win and her parenting fails. And then we're gonna throw to you guys to ask some film questions. And then if at the end we have a little time to everyone share their own anecdotes about their Toon Squad wins and their Goon Squad fails, we'll circle back to you. So to get us kicked off, Sonequa, thank you so much. Thank you for joining us and having this chat. Of course, thank you for having me. It's so great to see all of you. <laughs> Sonequa, what um, is your Toon Squad win moment and your Goon Squad fail parenting moment? Um, so I, I, I'm gonna have a little bit of a, of, a, of a double. So it's a little bit of a cheat because um, I, uh, something that happened with my son um, just recently uh, at dinner time, we were, I was talking to him about how proud I am of him for how he's been navigating this pandemic. He's six years old now and we tell him everything. He's so mature and he, he understands what's going on in the world. But he said that, uh, that he doesn't feel like he's really lost that much over the course of the pandemic. And that meant so much because um, he said, you know, I don't really feel like I've had to sacrifice a lot of things. And that, that was just amazing because we've done such a, you know, we've tried so hard, my husband and I, to just make it an adventure for him and, you know, keep him in the loop and keep it, keep it fun and light and joyful as much as possible. So that was so good to hear. Um, and then with, um, with my one-year-old daughter, um, it's, uh, it's always just a win whenever I make her laugh. Like, <laughs> I, you know how that is at that stage. It's the cutest. It's like, win, yes, yes, you know. So I, I, I appreciate that. And I also, he, he encourages people a lot, which I, and when I see it happening, I, we just, we just love it because we, we see that encouraging him allows him to encourage others. And the fail um, is, I remember some years ago, things were really crazy at work and uh, I forgot um, uh, his school pictures one day. And so he had, you know, he had a nice enough shirt on, but I would have dressed him up if I had remembered that the school pictures were that day. And I was down on myself for so long about that. But I ended up taking that image and talking to a graphic designer about like taking it and like putting some effects on it so that it could still be kind of commemorated. <laughs> it's so cute. It's almost like a time capsule. Those my son used to wear his pajamas to school, and I love that his school photo had him in his pajamas so that I can look back when he's sixteen and be like, "Remember when you wore your pajamas to school every day?" Yeah, so it's a nice, beautiful time capsule. That's right. That's right. I love that. So everyone else, you hold on to your Toon Squad, Goon Squad moments, and we'll circle back. But first, we're going to launch into some film questions. So we're going to start with, with Tanya Lamb from Lola Lamb Chops. Tanya, what question do you have for Sonequa about the movie? Hi, Sonequa. Hi. Um, so, you know, having this candid conversation about being moms and everything, I remember there was one point in the movie when... I know Malik was not your son, but in the movie, but you served him a look and that was like a solid mom look that <laughs> I know I have given my children before. So has there ever been a point where you've had to use that look on your kids? Oh yeah. Yeah. I think if you can get it down to a look, you're doing good. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, you know, it's a little different than, than my look at, as Kamaya in the story, but I have the look, you know, and, and, and then, you know, my son's like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Thank that's, you. That, that's amazing. Our next question is going from Robin Davis from Mom the Magnificent. Hi, I just want to say, you were so fabulous in the film. I love just what a caring, strong mother figure you were. So thank you for that. Um, my question is, were you a fan of the original Space Jam or basketball growing up? And if so, what's it mean to be a part of Space Jam, A New Legacy? Thank you for that compliment. And um, yes, I absolutely adored the original film. I was 11 when it came out. It was a big deal in my home. I almost grew up on that film. So it, it meant a lot to me, it still does. And, and so being a part of this new iteration, you know, it means a lot to me because of that, because here we are furthering the legacy of this classic and 
you know, I, I think it's really important. I think it's been modernized in such a beautiful, poignant way in a way that can really um, speak to audiences today and even beyond today. And that that is one of the things I love the most about it. In addition to playing this strong yet graceful matriarch um, is also just knowing that this film is, is bigger and brighter and deeper than the original. So hopefully it uh, gets into people's hearts like the original did. Great. Thank you so much, Robin. Our next question is going from Rhonda Chavez from Nanny Mom Rhonda. Hi. Hi. Um, my question is, um, how was it working with the legendary Lola Bunny? Oh, I love Lola Bunny. Lola Bunny is goals, is she not? <laughs> She's so strong and tenacious and, and secure in herself. And yeah, man, I really loved, you know, being a, just being able to share, share space with, with her. Um, you know, we had cardboard cutouts on the day, but uh, just the idea of it is, is, is really amazing. <laughs> I think we should start a movement that would, says, what would Lola Bunny do? That's and right. That, that That's could be our, our own motto to keep in our hearts. That's right. It's like, I'm on my Lola Bunny tip today. Exactly. I <laughs> like it. <I'm> awesome it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, Rachel. Rhonda. Our next questions come from Renisha Springer from Queen Thrifty. Renisha, do we have you? Yeah, I'm on mute. Sorry about I'm that. Sorry. I I'm so used to being at work on mute. So, um, so my question is, I, I, I was actually able to see the film and I'm a huge fan of The Walking Dead. And so um, knowing how cast are able to connect after the movie or in between shots, uh, what were, were you able to connect with the two young men that you were able to shoot with? And what was the relationship with um, LeBron Offset? I heard, he, I heard he's a really uh, funny guy. Yes, he is very funny. And thank you for that question. Um, you know, we had a good time together. We really did. Sierra and Cedric and Harper are some wonderful young people. They are. And, and of course, LeBron is, 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 is wonderful as well. And so we all just got along really easily and nicely. You know, we were a family like that. You know, and we would have a lot of fun together off off screen. Um, we would we we would always do riddles together, which was really funny, and set the stage for lots of shenanigans uh, behind the scenes. Um, so we had a we had a great time together, and and LeBron is is great. I think he I think he knew what was going to be expected of him leading this film, even though he had never done it before. Um, I think he took that championship mindset and and that leadership. Um, style that he has on the court. I think he took it to the set and to the story. And so because he was just 110% prepared and ready to go, it was, it was easy. And we were able to just dive into the story together and we all had such a great time. Thank you so much. You look beautiful. Oh, thank you. Okay, our next questions come from Heather from the Pink Ninja Blogger. Hello, hello. Um, I've always wondered, what is the most difficult part of filming a movie that splits between animation and live action? Great question. I think the most difficult part is just rounding out the world for yourself in your mind's eye. Um, you have to employ your imagination to such a degree that it, it, it really does take mental fortitude. It does, because it's like um, you almost have to um, you have to imagine this world and it has to be so specific that it's so real to you that you can taste it, touch it, smell it, all those things in your mind so that you can fully and authentically interact with it. But it's almost like you have to keep, keep it alive for yourself. And so it takes a lot of focus, you know what I mean? And a lot of, um, you know, a lot of intensity and concentration. So I think for those kinds of worlds, which I'm, which I am familiar with, with, with acting in, you just, it's like, all right, imagination, let's go. You know, <laughs> you know, you gotta, gotta, you gotta keep yourself sharp and keep yourself focused. That's Thank amazing. you. I do not envy you there. <laughs> <laughs> Our next question is gonna come from Kami Allen from the Mommy, Mama Diaries. 
Hi. Um, so I found your character incredibly genuine and relatable just in regards to being a mom and just having that sort of intuition of, you know, having your child's best interest at heart. And, and just because you don't necessarily think like what they're doing is what like you want them to do. You're just going to let them be their own person. And you were always your, you know, LeBron wasn't, but you sure you were on your game with that. Mm -hmm. um, what are you hoping for parents to take away from this movie? The movie is hysterical, but there's also a lot of great like heartfelt um, moments and takeaways, I thought. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for saying that. I, I agree. I think that the, that the film is a lot, um, it's a lot deeper than the original um, because, you know, at the root of it all is this family. Um, and learning how to sacrifice for your family and learning how to love your family as their authentic selves, right? As you were saying. And, and I think that, you know, it, you, you said it actually, that's, that's what's really powerful about this is that you see, um, you see this family learning and growing and changing together. And, and, and as Kamaya, it's so important for the matriarch of this family to, to, to be the one that can sort of strategically empower um, her husband, her children, um, she knows how to give space uh, for her children and for her husband as well. And that's inspiring and to me um, to, to see that kind of grace in action and to see that kind of graceful leadership in action. And also to see that partnership in action as well, because you know the family could not survive without her. You, you know that it couldn't. And the family can't survive without him either. And so you see them co-helming this family together, especially a family like this that's in the public eye. You know, things are very difficult and um, it's a big job to, to, to manage and nurture a family like that. So I, um, I really, it's one of the things that I love and respect the most about this iteration of, of, the, of Space Jam. Very, very true. Okay, our, one of our next questions will come from Janet from Whiskey and Sunshine. Hey, so you're a parent and obviously you play a parent in the movie. Are there things that you draw from as a parent in real life that you use to kind of, you know, put into your character in the film? You know, actually, no. I mean, other than the knowledge of what it feels like to be a mother, Right. You know, it's 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 um, it's something that I feel like you don't really have context for um, or not full context for until you're there, until you're, you know, someone's mother. Um, but I I don't use my own life um, when I'm telling stories. I, I only pull from the story itself. And that's the those are the parameters with which I um, I use. And, and, and those are the boundaries that I set so that my imagination can run freely within that. Um, so beyond just me, Sonequa, creating Kamaya, and so me, Sonequa, as a mother, is going to create Kamaya in a way that a mother would, um, that, that is how it um, related to my life in the story. Other than that, I just pulled from what was on the page, which I really appreciated. We're here. That's great. Thank you. Thank you so much, you guys. We have we have two minutes left. So if anybody has their Goon Squad, Toon Squad moment that they'd love to share, uh, raise your hand and I'll call on you quickly before we have to say goodbye to Sinequa. I, mean, I can. Okay, great. Jana, go for it. So my oldest just graduated high school, which we're very excited about. That's my win, my loon, my Toon Squad. And my Goon Squad is one time we lost our child at an amusement park. It happens. It does happen. And you are not the only one that has said that today, by the way. Or not at all. <laughs> so you can take solace in that. Okay, we have time for one more. Anybody else? Okay, um, Tanya. Okay, so my parenting win is every um, October, I dress up in a different costume every day to pick up my kids from the bus stop to basically wow. teach them not to care about what other people think about you. So oh. that's my win. And then, my, and then my fail is, um, so I moved my family to Florida to be closer to theme parks and I have an annual pass to a certain theme park and they do not. So I leave them a lot to go hang out with my friends there. And I'm like, peace, I'm going to go get a churro. <laughs> <laughs> Those are both wins, Tanya. Those are I, wins. I love you, man. I love you. <laughs> I know what you need. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
Yeah. Well, thank you all so much for taking your time. Thank you so much, Zanique West, for speaking with us today and being candid about your Toon Squad, Goon Squad moments. Um, remember, everyone, please make sure to spread the word and have everyone go see Space Jam, A New Legacy, when it's out July 16th in theaters and on HBO Max. So thank you guys again. Thank you, Zanique. Thank you. It thank was you. so great hanging with thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thanks again.